What fictional character's death still hits you hard no matter how many times you watch it? Brendan Fraser in Scrubs. John Coffey in The Green Mile. Little Foot's mum from The Land Before Time. Hank in Breaking Bad. Boromir. Uncas and Alice in Last of the Mohicans. Joyce in Buffy. Wash in Serenity. John Ritter's character on Eight Simple Rules. He had just died in real life, so it had to be written into the show. I was devastated by his death. Artax in the Swamp of Sadness. Mice Hughes. Not even so much as death. It's the funeral and his daughter. Every. Fucking. Time. Stoic from How to Train Your Dragon. The guy had just found his long lost love, and the one that kills him is his son's best friend. Ellie from Up. Bambi's mom. I can be off doing laundry or something, and hear him calling mother? And cue the waterworks. Wallace. Chris by me. Yandu Angok. Lieutenant Commander Data. Leslie Burke from Bridge to Terabithia. Mark Green. Sweets on Bones. Never saw it coming. When Brooks hangs himself in the Shawshank Redemption. Not like this. Like this. Crying face. Hodor. Bing Bong when he said take her to the moon for me my entire family was bawling. Damn you Bing Bong. He can't see without his glasses. Billy Costigan in The Departed. Charlie and all dogs go to heaven. Still cry at the end scene too. Yandu Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Thomas from My Girl. To get. Omar Little. It doesn't exactly hit me directly. But the pain I felt as a young kid when the mother dinosaur dies in the land before time, the thought of it kills me. Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake from MASH. I must be old that this wasn't mentioned already. Hank Schrader. Danny in American History X. Sarah Lynn. Dobby the Elf added to say thanks my first award. I guess everyone loves Dobby the way I do. John Coffey from The Green Mile. I have a hard time watching that movie cause it makes me so emotional. Fred Weasley. My heart breaks every time. Ned Stark. I couldn't believe what I was seeing at the time. Do the people in the good place count? They were already dead, but their ending still hit hard, but in a good way. Optimus Prime in the Transformers the movie 1986. Spock. Star Trek to the Wrath of Khan. I cried more at that point than I did when Mufasa dies in The Lion King. Those bagpipes hit way harder than you might think. It's also the only fictional death that still makes me sob on repeat viewings. Marshall's dad. Marley from Marley and Me. Chucky's finster actual mom from Rugrats. Mother's Day episode. It wasn't that fact that she was never present in the story. It's just how well done the writing was, and the imprint that she could have left in that episode. That episode was bittersweet. Still quite difficult to rewatch, let alone remember it. Beth in Little Women. The dog from I Am Legend. Pags. Bob Stranger Things. Shelby from Steel Magnolias. John Wick's Puppy. Gwen in Spider-Man. I'm so scared to read any of these. Bing Bong from Inside Out. Watching one of the last parts of someone's childhood vanish because of their destructive behavior will always be hard to watch. Shit hits me like a ton of bricks every single time. Henry Blake from MASH. Also Edith Bunker. Eris is not dead. S not. Artax the horse. John Coffey. That surprise motherfucker guy from Dexter. Dokes. Opie. Sons of Anarchy. Jack. From the Titanic. Denzel Washington in Man on Fire. Opie from Zoa. Still tears me up. Sirius from Harry Potter. He was the only family Harry had left. I cried so hard in the theaters watching it. T-Dog from The Walking Dead. Lay Everett from The Walking Dead video game. Joel Miller in The Last of Us Part 2. Henry and Sam and Sarah in The Last of Us Part 1. Arthur Morgan in Red Dead Redemption 2. Howard Hamlin in Better Call Saul. The Iron Giant. Mark Green on ER. 20 years later and I've never watched that episode without bawling like a fucking baby. Star Wars Rebels spoiler canon. Wally West in Young Justice. It's been about a decade and I'm still mad about it. Old Yeller. I'm not seeing this one, so. Littlefoot's mom in the land before time, crying face, Jin Nurso and Cassie and Andor from Rogue One, to get, Mufasa in Lion King, Mr. Spock. But he came back to life so it's cool. Eddard Stark got, I am legend, I had a German shepherd which made it worse. Mufasa from the Lion King gets me every time. Leslie from Bridge to Terabithia, purrs, I am a leaf on the wind, watch how I, Hedwig, definitely Ruth from Ozark. Best character in the show by far. Such an unfair ending to her story. Is anybody else in tears? Darth Vader his redemption arc is so good. Han Solo. Joffrey Baratheon. He deserved to suffer so much more. Iron Man. Uncle Iroh's son. He isn't even in the series but still gets me. Captain Miller in Saving Private Ryan. But not necessarily the scene where he dies, more the scene where old Private Ryan is crying at Miller's grave asking his wife to tell him he was a good man, and he led a good life. Also when Medic Wade died. Crying for his mom. That cartoon shoe in who framed Roger Rabbit. Charlotte the Spider. And it's something I read, 
not watched. Omar from The Wire. Arthur Morgan's in Red Dead Redemption 2. Derek from Grace was pretty emotional. Delicate. Dumbledore falling from the astronomy tower. Ellie from Up Bing Bong from Inside Out. Augustus from The Fault in Our Stars. Noah and Ali from The Notebook. Spider-Man Peter Parker in Infinity War. Yes I know he cones back but his death is heartbreaking as hell. Glenn Reed from The Walking Dead. I saw the actor recently in that Nope movie and I felt my heart jump remembering how dramatic that episode was for me. I cried my eyeballs out. Old Yeller. You should put spoilers, but I am going to go with Cyberpunk Edge Runner's ending. Daenerys. Game of Thrones. What was the actual point of all her conquering them? Speechless face. Grave of the Fireflies. You know the scene more specifically, the voiceover. Seymour the dog from Futurama. I panic and cry just from that episode. It's not the death, it's the waiting. And the whole episode is like me waiting to watch him wait and I think about every pet I've ever had and when I wasn't home. I can't, crying face, crying face, crying face. President Laura Roslin, Battlestar Galactica. That entire scene just wrecks me. Her and Admiral Willem Adama both finally get to hang their hats but she dies leaving Adama alone. You see it coming from season 1 is episode 1 she gets diagnosed with cancer but still. Added Hope and Washburn from Firefly Serenity 2. Guy just didn't deserve that death. Ned Stark. Killed off way too early. Boromir. It's been 20 years and roughly 100 rewatches of that movie and it still feels like a sledgehammer to the groin. Michael Jane the Virgin. John Coffey from The Green Mile. Ginger from Black Beauty. That poor horse was abused, starved, and worked to death. Then we get to watch her lifeless body being carried away on a cart. It will haunt me forever. Dobby from Harry Potter. Such a beautiful place, to be with friends. Dobby is happy to be with his friend. Harry Potter gets me every time. Terry Bellafleur from True Blood. Erwin Smith. For Humanity. Ali from Squid Game. Fry's Dog. Seymour. From Futurama. That flashback. Hodor. Game of Thrones. Mama from Forrest Gump. Aslan. Crying Face. Crying Face. Wallace from The Wire. Aunt Maybro NWH. She was just a side character. She isn't even that important. Surprised she died. Littlefoot's mom in the land before time. Glenn in The Walking Dead. It made me stop watching it ha ha ha. Adriana Laserva. Fred. From Angel. Crying face. Well pretty much every character Joss Whedon killed. Anya. Joy. Wesley. Wash. Coulson and his own career. And Rob Stark. Of course. Hank in Breaking Bad. Charlotte in Charlotte's Web. Mufasa in The Lion King. Abuelo Pedro in Encanto. Grandma Tala in Moana. Tadashi in Big Hero 6. Mama Coco in Coco. Ellie in Up. Can you tell I have kids? The Tenth Doctor played by David Tennant in Doctor Who. I don't want to go. Usually Doctor Who is my happy place, but that episode gets me crying. Fry's dog, Seymour. Does a dog count as a character? If so Hachiko A Dog's Tale 2009. Lenny Small. When it happened I threw the book. I cried so hard. Brooks from The Shawshank Redemption. Artex. Sarah from The Last of Us. Bing Bong honestly broke me the worst I was crying so hard my son came running in to check I was okay. He thought I'd injured myself or something. Discourage. Roberto Benigni's character in Life is Beautiful. Wilson cast away. Newt the Maze Runner. Stoic the Vast. Chief of Burke. Hiccup's father. From How to Train Your Dragon. Amy Pond. Jack. I'm going to cry every time. Iron Man I can't go into it. Aslan. Eddie Munson. Leah from Amazon Solos. Her present timeline self before it happens and what she does while waiting. Ugh, that messed me up. Uncle Aaron from Into the Spider-Verse. Spoiler for RDR2 players Hosea, Lenny, Sean, Kieran, Arthur, John, Kate 6, Marley. Without question only time in a theater I saw everyone cry at the same time. Hard to see a yellow lab and not remember that movie. The little girl from Pan's Labyrinth. In fact I just started crying even thinking about it. Dr. Green on ER. George from Grey's Anatomy. Was casually watching it cause my older sister loves it and George became my favorite. Artax. The never-ending story. Fiverr and Hazel from Watership Down. Joel and Last of Us 2. Artax. I'm still not over it. Dr. Mark Green is. 